Testing, one, two, three. This is, we are so me. <laughs> we are vlogging from the new vlog camera. Did get this and then I kind of wrote down like my schedule and everything on the fridge. So I kind of really like it. And then I have the, my ideas board or things that I have to do like immediately. It's just really cute. I kind of like having this because it really makes me, I don't know, it's kind of odd to put these kind of things in like a calendar, a digital calendar. So this is really helpful for me when I'm trying to keep in mind like all these things that keep like buzzing in and out because I have so many things going in and out of my brain all the time that I feel like I'm just forgetting so many things recently. I'm trying to be better with that. I also have an OTV shoot tomorrow that is a very interesting one. And when Broden said the title of this, I cringed. I died inside. Finding. And so tomorrow it's going to be a video of like a. OTV is going to be. And then, yeah. I always thought this kind of thing would be kind of fun to do, but when, when it comes down to it, I'm kind of like nervous. Not nervous of anything, because it's, it's you know, it's mostly for content. No, it is for content, but like it's, it's making me feel a bit like, what if I like don't respond well? Or what if it's awkward? Because I judge people, not judge people so much, but like I watch these videos all the time and we like laugh and critique at these people. And I'm just like, God, it's gonna be me. I'm gonna be the one who's messing up. No, I won't think of it that way. It'll just be a fun experience. Get to like banter, like make some jokes, whatever it is. And it'll be a good time. But anyway, what better than to test this camera out than to make a matcha latte and see how it all turns out. I only say that because I want a matcha latte right now but i'm gonna try a new matcha that i got from tea master oh my god the fumes <laughs> Miss Selmy on the new vlog camera. Oh, she's like, what's that? Honey, hey, are you okay? What's she trying to tell me? Okay. I'm gonna go to 99 Ranch to get some groceries because I might have some friends over today. So I was thinking about cooking. And even if I don't have friends over, I still wanna cook something. I'm gonna head over to the grocery store. I thought it was further than I thought because a lot of like the Asian grocery stores tend to be like in the 66 area, very far away. But there's actually one fairly close. So I'm gonna head over there and we're gonna grab some stuff. And then I have the OTV shoot. And then I can come back and cook some more. So I don't really know what I'm doing. Doing aside from the shoot today, but today's gonna be a play it by ear type of day. The drink I was trying to find is here. God damn it. It's like one of the ingredients I really wanted to get, but that's okay. I'll get a substitution or something. So the struggle of living alone now is when I grocery shop, it's gonna be me carrying everything back so I can't buy too many things because I know if I buy too many things, I'm gonna have to like lug it all up to my apartment and it's just not gonna be good. So I think I'm gonna try to get some pork belly because I wanna try to make this Vietnamese dish that my mom used to make. It's really, really good, but I'm gonna make it better than her. <laughs> oh my god, they already have some Chinese New Year's stuff out. I, actu I would actually get one of these if I wasn't leaving the Japan soon. Will it still be okay while I'm gone? If it will be, then I'll get one. I really want it to look nice and festive. Thank you so much. On my way to the OTV shoot now, I got ready, I cooked as fast as I could, and I don't know if it's gonna even turn out well because I rushed it so much. <sighs> I'm nervous, but uh, we'll see. All right, just finished the shoot, leaving now. Gonna go home and finish up my cooking. I totally just have a pot on low at home, just on sizzle because that's what it's supposed to do. You're supposed to cook it for a really long time. So finally can go home and eat. This is actually gonna be my first real meal today because I didn't freaking eat all day and I've just been snacking at the shoot, so it's bad. While this is boiling, it has to simmer for about like another hour and a half or so. I'm gonna be making some Korean tofu soup, the kimchi one, kimchi jjigae one. Yeah. Oh my god, this smells so good. Oh my god, this 
this is a gigantic pot. How am I gonna finish this? Hi, honey. You keeping me company while I cook? Yeah, it looks so good. My first meal of the day. <laughs> All I did was snack at the shoot. I had like two Rice Krispies and a gummy bear pack thing. But yeah, I'm excited to eat this, so I'm gonna save some stomach for this. I'm gonna watch some Singles Inferno now and eat my soup. <laughs> this is my onion update. Whoa, they grew so much. Oh my God, it's literally been maybe a week or less for the, the longer two. And then this one's maybe just like two days ago. They grow so quickly. Everyone grow your own onions. It's kind of fun pretty much ready so i'm just gonna make some rice now i have not unboxed this yet and now it's a, now it's time to bust it out Ta -da! it's my rice cooker i got it on prime day and i literally just had not unboxed it until now because I had like microwavable rice for a long time. And when you kind of live with just me, sometimes Cali, it's like, we didn't really have a use for her. But if I love hosting and having people over, I should get it set up or at least be able to use, you know? So I got this in the first place because I also wanted to do like rice cooker recipes. Cause there's some recipes where you can make everything in the pot. And that's it. No dishes, no nothing. Like you do whatever once for the most part. So I did want to try that. And also I want to make, I'm trying to make Hainan chicken at home. So if I wanted to do that, I would need a rice cooker anyway. And it's pink. <laughs> I like the pink or the white one. This one was actually, seemed like a decent deal. Cheaper and it looked cute. So here we are. Callie got this fancy rice box that she got for her birthday. It's so cool. Look, it's so aesthetic. And then you open the lid and right under here, it's like magnetic and it's one cup measuring. How sick is this? This is so, this is, wow. I'm gonna make like two cups of rice. This looks so good. Woo! My mom used to always make this at home, but hers was a little different. <laughs> I told you guys she wasn't like the best cook, but she tried. Oh my God, that is so much better with the rice. Holy crap. Yeah, I forgot rice is so good with this. Oh, wow, this makes me so happy. I am gonna make a drink real fast and then probably gonna head over to the OTV house to do some filming because I have been craving fraps lately and I don't wanna go to Starbucks to get one. I am gonna try to make them at home. I saw this recipe of how some people made their own like roast thingy. I know it looks gross, but apparently it's the base, the frappuccino base that they put in a lot of the drinks. It's not the right taste though still. It tasted like a blended ice wrap, whatever, but something is still different. It doesn't taste as matcha-y and as sweet, but I don't want to add so much sugar in it, you know? But maybe that's how much they have at Starbucks. Mm. I am trying to get all the packages before I am gone to Japan, so we're gonna get rid of all these. Okay, this is a little degenerate, but it's like cute degenerate, you know? I got very cute Ryan shot glasses. Yay! <laughs> Oh my God, look at these ones. <laughs> Woo! I got a KitchenAid bowl and it is a really nice clear bowl for vlogging and streams and stuff. Like usually you guys see the stainless steel bowl and then you can't see everything that's inside, but now you can. More five spice seasoning. Oh, ethernet cable. MSG. This is one of the God tier selfie sticks that I use for so many things. Like this is the one that I've ordered countless of because I keep losing them, but it's really good. Oh my gosh, I was excited for this. This one's on sale. I was looking at it, I was eyeing it for a bit already, and then now I finally got it. Oh, it's such a cute color. I love this color. It's a food processor, so yay! Anytime I open a cabinet, Look at her. Why, honey? Like, as soon as I open it, she just has to go in and inspect. It's coffee time. Maybe I try making something different, you know? I have some red bean paste. Maybe I can add it to the coffee and see if it tastes good. This is Callie's hand grinder. I need to work out, man. My, my arms are getting tired. Oh, finally, it's done. Oh, it's 
smells so good. Wait, this is actually so good. It's one of my favorite lattes I've ever made at home. The coffee and the red bean go so well together and then the cream at the top tastes <laughs> Oh, yes, honey. Oh. Why are you yelling at me? What did I do, huh, Zoe? Can you tell me what I did? Can you tell me what I did so that I know not to do it next time, huh? What did I do that was so upsetting? Oh, she just wanted me to pick her up, huh? Is that why you're not yelling anymore? Hmm? Mm, I'm gonna miss you, honey. When I go to Japan, I'm gonna miss you so much. I'm happy. This drink is good. So means huh? healthy and happy. It's all we could really ask for for a lot of things, you know? I'm trying to get rid of a lot of things in my fridge because things might go bad for the 10 day duration that I'm going to be in Japan. So I'm going to try to make my chicken wrap that I typically do so that we can make sure ingredients don't expire. Ta -da! I ate this wrap so much when I was trying to lose weight. I mean, I still am, which is why I still have it, all the ingredients to make it and stuff, but I ate this every single day. And I actually lost like five pounds in the first week and it was crazy. This is my savior and it still tastes really good and I love it. I just like having more variety. It's kind of hard to, of course, eat the same thing every day. I mean, I was determined so I could do it. I think Leslie was also doing that too. We were all like making really healthy food and it was great. We're just saving calories for Japan. I'm just gonna eat healthy now and then just freaking eat everything in Japan. I know I said in my last vlog that I am kind of out of my partying phase. And honestly, I am. Like I used to feel the need or want to go out every weekend, like kind of would want to like go out of my way to plan something. Like I said, now, unless there are friends or people who wanna hang out and stuff, I actually don't feel that. I have felt that at times, mainly because of how A, I've been living alone more and also streaming every single day. It feels like there's just, if there's no events or other things for me to like socialize, then I will wanna go socialize. So that's the only thing, but it's not because like I want to say party or anything like that. Um, I do have fun because I love music and drinking and all that is fun when it's like once in a while, but I've just been so tired that, I don't know, when you feel productive and you're actually doing a lot of things, you you don't really have other things in mind. It's kind of like clockwork. You do the same thing every single day and then you just don't even notice anything different with that. You don't care to do anything different than that as much. I have a friend group that for a while we would go out pretty often. So I'm actually getting ready to hang out with a friend group that I have been going out with a lot, maybe since like June or July-ish. It's been really fun and they've been there for me through a lot of things. So I'm very appreciative for, to them. And the way we mostly usually hang out is through like either shooting the shit and then like drinking a little bit or doing whatever. So yeah, I have no idea what we're doing tonight. Uh, we might go out because I think one of our friends want and I am also down to go out since we didn't really last week or other things too. I have realized, and I don't know if this applies, if anyone can relate, but whenever I think about certain people, events, I mean, this is very common. I'm sure some of you guys can relate, but I kind of spiral. And it's weird because my entire life, I have never spiraled whenever thinking of, whenever something comes up in thought, you know? I don't know how to explain it, but when a certain person comes up or when I'm really recalling like certain events or how I feel about some people, it makes me feel like I'm almost sorry for people who know me, but at the same time, some thoughts of how much does this all like matter in the end, you know, like we all, we don't live forever. And ultimately, will this be something that's just like that? And of course, that's not all the time. Like I have times where I am pulled out of it and I am okay. I'm like busy streaming or vlogging and doing all that kind of stuff. But when there's downtime, sometimes if I'm like driving, if I'm on the way home from something or I see someone or if I, anything comes up that like triggers that memory or if a person triggers that, then I just, that's just how I feel and I can't help it. And I don't know if it'll ever go away. Uh, it probably will but I just don't know when. 
It feels like I don't know if I'll ever get over this type of feeling. But aside from that, sorry, it's a little depressing. I appreciate people who I feel like genuinely believe and know me for who I am, like trust, like what type of person I am, I guess. And of course you have to prove that in a lot of ways, but even the people who kind of like will hear me out or like know to some degree or still understand despite like hurt or mistakes. That's the kind of the way I see it too. Like I have been hurt by friends and there are people that I literally, even though, even if they hurt me, like I always kind of give, or I will like want to give them the, I don't know, it's weird. I don't know how to explain it, but some people you make exceptions for. Like despite them hurting you and despite them doing something, I just, maybe you feel like it's intention, like their intention is not to, or they truly mean so much to you that you'd rather have them in your life than not. So you try to like work it out somehow. And I think time truly is like a testament to who is there for you the whole time and who will be there for you throughout everything. I wanna say like, I feel like I have an idea or know the people who, who will be and I'm really, really thankful for them. And it makes me really appreciative of like the friendship and the closeness that we have, whoever it is. Um, so yeah, I really like it a lot. And some people who are just like supportive of you no matter what, in whatever way they show, you know? Some people show it very like out there and they're like very expressive of it. And some people show it more in subtle ways, but you can still feel it. And I appreciate it all, all in all. Yeah, sorry, the beginning sounded really depressing, but I think the people that I value a lot and the people that I'm close to, I'm just really happy and glad and feel very lucky to have them. I was putting together a vision board on stream the other day. And if you guys have not tried to make a vision board, I personally don't like the idea of printing out paper and like gluing it onto things. Like I used to, but I'm kind of too lazy for that now, but it's like a fun activity and crafty thing to do if you're really into crafts, which I like it, but I like if I'm doing it with someone, not by myself. So I made a digital version of a vision board and it actually is kind of amazing. You're able to see on paper or on the screen exactly kind of what you envision or want to achieve. And so I put like aesthetic for my kitchen, I put aesthetic for my apartment, I put places I wanna go visit, seasons of Japan I wanna go to, like like cherry blossom season or the fall cause it's beautiful in the fall, video ideas that I have. And then it, I even put like a little orange peel picture on there <laughs> to represent like, oh, first off, like I'm not like looking for a relationship or anything like that. I think I have been treated quite well in my previous relationships and so, my standards are kind of like this. And I don't want to get into a serious relationship until I am kind of being treated by like a certain standard, which I think we should all strive for. That's why I feel like I'm not gonna have a serious relationship anytime soon. But if it were to happen, that's why I put the orange peel there. I it would be nice because I am getting to the point where I always go back and forth between um, like there's no pressure to date right now and or like there's no pressure in general, like I'm telling myself, don't feel the time, like pressure, time constraint, whatever it is. But I do at times, I feel like I'm getting older and I kind of feel that pressure of like, when am I gonna have kids or when am I gonna get married and like all this kind of stuff. It still feels really freaking early, but my age is not that, like my age does not match my feelings. And that's what bothers me. It's like, I, I don't, and I'm not ready, but I'm old, at, old enough to the point where I feel like I should be. So I'm trying really hard not to feel the age constraint, but it's it's rough because I it is like a factor that still like pops into my head. But like I said, I'm not gonna do anything serious until it's like the one or feel like at least they're the one. My makeup's done. I don't know what I'm gonna wear tonight, but honestly, I'll wear whatever. It's not a big deal. We're just going out probably a regular night out in K-Town or something. It is my last day here before Japan. I've talked about Japan so many times in this vlog, but I think you can tell I'm a little excited. Look at how onions are doing. Onions grew so much. Oh my gosh. Miss you guys. I grew so much attachment to you guys. <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll miss you too, honey. You're kind of, you're all right. But we're gonna remember what they look like now and then see what how much they've grown after 10 days today i'm gonna unbox and put together some amazon packages so first thing is i got a cart for this area which it's kind of 
a storage area right now after I cleared it, but okay, I'm gonna make it a comfy area. Maybe if you guys have any ideas for what this area could be, feel free to let me know. I already got a kotatsu, kotatsu? Like that Japanese table that has like a warmer and stuff. I got that here. I wanna make this like a comfy, cozy area. So if you guys have any suggestions, please feel free to leave it in the comments. But yeah, I'm gonna build the cart today so that uh, I could put like laundry or other storage stuff on it. I think having kind of like storage things is a good way to kind of, you know, organize, so. And it's done, finally. Now I can put all the cleaning supplies or like detergent and stuff on it. I'll see what I wanna put on there, but probably stuff maybe that I'll frequently use. Bye, have fun on vacation from me, huh? I'll see you when I get back. Somi just left and I miss her already. It's not the same without her yelling at me. She just walks a little and she goes, Mal. It's okay, I'll see her again soon. and Hope she's just gonna enjoy herself. Okay, so for the most part, I have packed everything and I'm putting my uh, carry-on in my check-in just to make it so that I don't have to carry my carry-on through the air, uh, the flights and stuff and there's still room. I'm gonna have some stuff like a, a room for me to bring back stuff if I want to, so it's kinda awesome. It's time to go. I'll see you guys in Japan. Whee!